Hello everybody, uh, it's finally here. I know I promised this video a while back, but uh, it's here now, right? So, uh, also my girlfriend bought me a new microphone for my birthday yesterday. So I really, I'm, I'm really excited to try that out as well. It's the, the blue snowball ice, if anyone cares. I really, really like it so far. So now I finally have a proper microphone for videos where I want to use voiceover. Cause my headset mic just isn't good enough for that. Uh, unless you want to hear like every background sound there is. But yeah, uh, making a frag movie. There are loads of other ways of doing it, but this is just how I do it. So let's get started. First you need to change your video card settings. Uh, you basically want everything set to max. I have an Nvidia card and these are the settings that I use. Um, I can only show you how to change those settings. If you have some other card, you can probably just search around on the internet and try to find like the best settings for your video card. Then you need to get a CFG folder for movie making. Uh, it's basically just a folder that got settings and executable commands that will improve your videos. I left mine in the description below. You can use that or search around for someone else's. And then you need to find your Steam folder. You need to go to Steam Apps, Counter-Strike Global Offensive and then CSGO. You should already have one CFG folder there that is active when you play the game. And what I do is I rename the one I use when I play to CFG Play, making it not active. And then I rename the one for movie making to just CFG, making that the active one. The CFG folder for movie making has a notepad in it that you can execute in the game that has a bunch of settings that are good for movie making. It changes the skybox and stuff. Then you need to get uh, Half-Life Advanced Effects. You can find a link to the site in the description. It's basically just a program that uh, gives you access to a bunch of different new commands in game. You can manipulate death messages, you can make cinematics, like where you get these really smooth camera movements and stuff. Just put it in a folder wherever. I have mine on my desktop. When you open the program you want to check, check for automatic updates. And uh, then you click Tools, Developer, and then Custom Loader. Uh, then you click Browse next to the hook DLL, and you go find the hook source file. Then you click Browse next to the program path, and this is where you need to find the game in Steam apps and stuff. And in the command line, there's a few things you can do. You can remove the window uh, command. And you just, but you have to make sure insecure is on. That is very, very important. Unless you want to get back banned. Then you need to change your in-game video settings. Uh, you can basically just change them to these settings right here. Just pause the video if I'm going too fast, all right? And now we're ready to record our clip. You just go find your demo. I'm gonna use this, I have an ace here in the first round. So you just find the person that gets the frag. And you go to the round. And then you type exec movie making one that executes the notepad file in our CFG folder. Makes the skybox look great and loads other settings. Then you type merv death messages debug one. This command shows the ID of every player in the game as we go. Like when I get a frag right here, um, it shows the ID of basically me. So I got one frag there and you can see the ID of attacker, that is me, is 11. So then I can type merv death messages block and yeah, like this. And that makes it so that the game only shows my own death messages. Then you go back to the start of the round again. Because now we got the ID and we have blocked out all the death messages. Then we type Merv death messages, um, CFG, notice lifetime 99. That makes it so the death messages will stay on screen for as long as possible. And then we do the CL draw only death notices one. That makes the HUD go away and all that other stuff like the HP, the armor, the money, 
everything goes away so it's like clean and you only see the death notices. Then you can skip ahead till where you want to start recording. I record at quarter speed. It's the one fourth button in the demo UI. That makes it go really slow. But if you record this way and you speed it up again in the editing software, you'll get more frames in your clips and it will look better. So I start recording around here because I know the frags are going to start soon. I record using shadow play by the way, but if you don't have access to shadow play, you can use fraps or any other type of recording software, OBS. Just make sure you have, uh, have the highest settings on, max bitrate and 60 FPS. And I'm just going to skip this part so we can jump into the editing software. Alright, so now we got our clip and we make a new project with these settings right here. Then we get our clip in here. And uh, this is a quarter speed, right? So if you play this, it's really slow. So what we can do is we can hold down control and we can select the end of the clip and we can drag it like this to the left. And now it should be 100% speed. We can just mute the sound. Now it's time to start working on how the, uh, the clip looks uh, by adding like small effects and adjusting the brightness and contrast and stuff. So I always start off, you can go to video effects and you can select levels. You need to start by doing this. You select computer RGB to studio RGB and you add that to the either clip or the layer or the track, I mean. You start by doing this and from now on, whatever you do, it will look exactly the same on YouTube. Because if you don't have this video effects on, it will look a bit different on YouTube. And then we can select color curves and we can add some curves. Uh, I already have a preset. It looks like this, it's kinda, it, you just need to play around with this and tweak it a bit and make it look like how you want it to. Uh, you can also add some brightness and contrast if you want to do that. Like this or You just, you just play around with these a bit. You can also use color corrector. I have a preset for that too. It adds more color to your clips. Then it's time to render your clip. Uh, keep in mind that you won't have sound on your clip because we record it in a quarter speed. So if you want, you can either go record the clip again in normal speed and just use the audio for uh, from that. Or you can add individual sounds you can download CSGO sounds and you can like add USP shots and all the other sounds manually. That's what I do. But it's time to render a clip. You select the clip right there, like this. You go to file and render as. And I have a, a customized template right here. It's uncompressed. I can show you how to set that up. You go to a video for Windows and you can just select this HD. 720 60p and you click customize template and you just make the settings match this thing it's very important that you go to project and select best on video render quality and then you just name your clip whatever you want it to be and you hit that render button so now that you've rendered your movie or a clip it will be a massive file right because it's uncompressed. So we need to compress it using a program called Handbrake. And you open up Handbrake, and then you make a new preset right here. And then you copy these settings right here. And then you save that. So when you made this preset, you can drag your clip into Handbrake and then you click Browse uh, to select where you want your clip to go when it's done. Like this and you click Start and then it starts to encode and after that it's ready for YouTube. Alright, 
I really hope you could follow all that. Uh, I spent a lot of time on this video and I really hope you got something out of it. I remember how it was when I first started to make these frag movies and it really wasn't easy. If something was unclear or if you have any questions, please just ask. I will try to answer everything. And keep your eyes open for a follow-up video as well where I will be answering most of your questions. I really hope you found the video helpful. Uh, if you could do me a huge favor, you could hit the like button and the subscribe button. That would be awesome. Thank you.